Hey YouTube, it's Marita and welcome to another edition of the Nurse Lounge. And in this edition, we're going to talk about nursing policies. A question was asked specifically about where you find them and things like that. So I wanna kind of help you navigate your way around your nursing unit um, so you can find and look up nursing policies and understand what are they used for? Why do I need to know the nursing policies? This is more so for my new nurses or new graduates or people in nursing school. Um, obviously, if you're already a nurse, you probably or should do it via your orientation already know this information. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, stay tuned. All right, we are back. My name is Dr. Marita P. I am a registered nurse. I've been a nurse for 16 and a half years. I am an OBGYN, well baby nurse, nursery nurse, and I am a an associate professor, nurse educator. I teach at HBU and I am doctorally prepared. So this video we are talking about specifically nursing policies. What are they and what are they for? So your nursing policy, and I've actually did a video on nursing policy versus nursing judgment with that I will link to this video. And I say that because people get those two things confused, what's policy versus judgment. And I that video is already out there, so I won't go into all that. But I will say when it comes to nursing um, policy specifically, that your nursing policies is what you, what your hospital facility units use to govern how you give your care. So nursing policies could be anything from the time that you do your vital signs to how you handle um, a hypoglycemic event, hyperglycemic event, how you handle a postpartum hemorrhage, how you handle um, stroke patients, if you have stroke patients, you know, whatever it is that you have on your unit, it will dictate, it will state, you know, line by line, this is what you're supposed to do in that situation. Um, and it can have some general policies on there too regarding your scope of practice, how many years of, of education you have to have, what kind of what your position is supposed to be like, what your job role is. It could be policies regarding um, which holidays you work. It could be policies whether you work every third weekend or every other weekend. So nursing policies can be a little bit of everything. And the reason why these are important to follow, specifically when it comes to your patient care, it's because of the fact that if you do not follow these policies that they have in place in general, and you cause a sentinel event or something to happen to a patient and you didn't follow the policy, you can be reprimanded for those types of things. So where do I find my nursing policies at? Where do I find those at? Truth be told, you should have been, um, when you got oriented to the hospital, or if you are new, when you get oriented to the hospital, they on your unit will show you where your nursing policies are. Um, some hospitals are very old school and still have them in a book or a binder of some sort in a cabinet somewhere in your unit um, where they have a hand copy where you actually can go and read the policies and things like that. Most facilities have moved to the intranet. Most people get confused about, you know, what they need to do regarding their policies and things like that. You need to read those policies. So if you have an, some off time or some downtime, so you have did all your patient care, you've passed your meds, you ain't doing nothing. Why you supposed to be why you supposed to be doing work or whatever, you up on your phone. When instead of doing stuff like that, you need to go ahead and go to the internet and look up your your nursing policies on whatever on everything to be honest with you. But if you happen to know you have difficulty with a certain situation, um, then find the nursing policy on that and read that policy and read it word for word. Go through the whole policy and make sure you understand how it is. Go take notes from it or make a copy of it, print it off, make a copy, put it in your own personal binder. I always recommend that as a new nurse or a, new, a nurse coming to a new facility, that you should have a notebook of some sort, that you are a notebook, a binder or something of your own personal, that you are writing down key things that you need to know, codes to doors, you're writing down um, vital sign times that they're supposed to be done. Everybody does not have this 8, 12, and 4 vital sign time. Ours was 10, 2, and 6 as an example. So, you know, you need to know certain things. Now, once you get used to these things and know the codes to the doors, you won't need your book anymore. However, you want to have something as a reference to go to on your own when you need these things. The internet for you all millennials who think that, that technology is available all the time, technology is not available all the time. So you want to have, they have downtime at the hospital where you have to use paper forms and know how to use paper forms and things like that. Um, or sometimes things just go out. We had a situation here in Nashville where due to a bombing situation, our AT&T lines went completely out. So anybody with AT&T had no service, period, um, because it affected that building. So 
they didn't have access to their phones, they didn't have access to their internet, they didn't have access to nothing because they didn't have, a, they had AT&T. So again, do not be reliant upon technology. You wanna also be able to just print things off and say, okay, let me keep this in my binder, highlight things, write on things, things like that. So if you're not familiar with how something works or how something goes, definitely take the time to read about it. So for postpartum hemorrhage, as an example, because I'm an OB nurse, I know postpartum, postpartum hemorrhage in and out, front, back, side to side. I know it all because of the fact that we do it. We have to do it so much. But I have read the policy. They've updated the policy. We do drills on postpartum hemorrhage all the time, or we have been doing them. Every, every six months or so, we do a drill. And so because we do a drill on postpartum hemorrhage, I know the policy. I know how it works. And we sign off that we know how it works. So look at your nursing policy manual and go through that manual and write those things down the things that you don't know. Um, again, they have things in there about everything, everything from the time you're supposed to clock in to clock out. So for instance, we have a nursing policy that we can only clock in. Um, I wanna say, is it six minutes before, eight minutes before? Or you could be only be, you could be eight minutes late and still be on time. I don't remember how it was, but my point is we had to, I think you could not be late. They changed it. You could have, you only clock in a few minutes before, but you could not be late. So anyway, you, before you get wrote up and a write up will consist of this. And if too many tardies consist of this absence and you can only have only this many absences in a year or, you know, things like that. So you need to know what the policies are on your floor as well as for your hospital so that you'll know how to govern yourselves. Because if you do not and you get in trouble and you go to court, the, the attorneys are going to say, did you follow the policies that your, that your institution um have in place and if you simply say no because i didn't know where it was at that's you you have a license at this point in time so you're licensed and you're responsible you have a responsibility to know what to do when it comes to that anyway this is not a long video i'm not going to belabor this because of the fact that that sums it up you need to know your nursing policies on your floor you can find them either in a binder on your unit in a cabinet somewhere or you will find them on the intranet not internet intranet that is specific to your hospital or facility so be mindful that you will find them somewhere or you should find them somewhere. If you cannot find them either place, you need to go to management and find out where these nursing policies are. So you're still responsible no matter what. So anyway, govern yourselves accordingly. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, share. This video is quick to the point. IG, follow me on IG. You will see what happens behind the scenes with Dr. Marita P. You'll see my kids. You will see my educational journey that I've embarked upon. I'm done now, but you will see all those things. So anyway, until the next time, you all take care. Bye-bye.